This is my Walesco D18. It's a generator and I've put this wire on here. Okay. These are Limax tower lights. There's a lot of wire, so I can move this quite a long distance away. Here we have the cheap sort of uh, LED flashlight that works really well. What I used up in there is I took an identical one and I cut it in half. I put the positive wire alligator clip on the positive part of the flashlight in there and put the negative on the body. And to help the alligator clips hold in place, I used my hacksaw and made little grooves. What I'll do is I'll just put that inside like that. I don't like those solid stinky fuel tablets that cause such a mess. So I made this alcohol burner. Well, I didn't put this towel underneath it because it leaks or anything like that. Not the case. I put it underneath because my little guy's uh, asleep upstairs and I don't want the vibration through this unfinished railway to probably wake him up. Well, we have partial success. Uh, earlier I pulled this, pulled on that and it popped out by, and by mistake, I didn't realize that it severed the wires. <laughs> and uh, this one's not working. This one is working and that's working. A couple of people have commented in the past how well I do things. Well, <laughs> it doesn't come without trial and error. After years and years of twisting, you know, and adjusting the lights and moving up and down, it broke right in there. Not wanting to be defeated and go to bed tonight, feeling like, eh, that didn't work out. I soldered the light little tiny wires back together. So, <laughs> it's kind of dinky, but uh, at least I have two lights. And uh, I tell you, soldering that little tiny tip up in there without melting everything around, it was quite a challenge. Um, and I'm not good at soldering, so I held my tongue a certain way. Here we go. Yep. Now these fires, the, the flame starts to build as it heats and it draws more of the methylated spirits up to the wick. So in a few minutes, it's gonna be quite a flame under there. Oh, look at that. I don't even need it up all that high. Just about there. Now yeah, let's turn the lights off. Ah, look at that, brilliant. It's not even doing that many revolutions. Everything's working. The piggies are happy. So out on the outside railway, the station will be there. Now, in that case, it's a straight line. Uh, and that's gonna be beside the station, kind of like this, but over, right? It's gonna illuminate some track and a, a bit of in front of the station. And then I'll have a live steam train running around in the dark at the same time as this wonderful thing is operating. So because of the extra fixing, I didn't get to take it outside tonight to run a train with it, but let's run a train anyway. So the train's running off the overhead wire. And all the lights are from my power station. Now I can go to bed happy. I wrapped this inside with some Teflon tape that I made into a string so that it's it doesn't travel. It used to, the, this used to travel with vibration. It used to speed up. But now I have some very fine control. Look at that, eh? Pressure gauge is blowing out a little bit. It's at top pressure. <laughs> 